Welcome to the Sphere of Grace. I am Pastor Shogun Baje. Thank you for tuning in and God bless you. I know God's word is coming your way and your life is about to take a leap into a new world. In Jesus' name, amen. Today, God sent me to tell you to be sensitive to your divine moments. All right, life is um, a music, a harmony of moments. You must learn how to um, harmonize the moments of your life to cause a change, you know, that you require. God will bring divine moments your way. He will open windows for you. And when he does, you must be able to recognize your divine moment. And then link this moment with the next, all right, and then the previous with this, so that you have a free flow of um, the moments of God in your life producing the destiny that God has cut out for you. Praise God. And so be sensitive to your divine moments. Jesus Christ was at Jerusalem and he came on a divine mission. It was a divine visitation that came to them, but they did not know it. And so he wept over the city. Why? because they did not recognize their divine visitation, their divine moment. So Jesus wept. And then he looked at them, he says, look, you will never see me come here again until you can appreciate who I am and how much this visit is worth to you. Until you can say and you will say that blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord. I will never visit you anymore. They lost out on their divine moment because they were not discerning. Unlike the uh, children of Issachar, the Bible says they were discerning, they knew and understood the times and the seasons, and they knew what Israel ought to do at that time. And because they were discerning, it says all their brethren were at their command. Now, when you are discerning, you can actually have things, you know, under your control. And it's important for you to be sensitive to your divine moments. And how do you do that? Listen very carefully. Don't be critical. Don't be judgmental. Be open to change. Be meek. Be humble. And have a listening heart. Take a listening posture in life. Be willing to learn. And be open to correction. You know, don't just go by principle without being dynamic. All right, there are times you have to switch from one principle to another. All right, you must know when to switch. And times and seasons change. God changes times and seasons uh, based on the attitude of men. So it's important for you to learn how to respond to the times and the seasons of life. So you discern your divine moment. Be meek, be humble. You know, have that childlike attitude to life. A learning, take a learning posture in life and then take time to pray. All right. Tell the Lord to guide you and help you to be discerning. When you pray in other tongues, the Spirit of God will alert you and say, Son, daughter, this is your moment. This is your opportunity. And listen very carefully. Um, fast people who are very swift don't always win the race, and the strong don't always win the battle. Wise men don't always have bread to eat. He says, time and chance happen unto them all. What does that mean? Divine moments. If you learn to take um, your divine moments and seize your divine opportunities, it becomes very easy to get into the arena of success and the corridor of power in life. Praise God. And I pray for you. Your divine moment will come and you will know it and you'll be able to enter into it and feel that space that God has provided for you like Daniel, like Esther, in Jesus' name. Amen. Until I come your way again tomorrow, keep living and basking in the sphere of grace. I love you and God bless you.